Hey everyone and welcome to Sketching with Sarah. I'm Sarah and today's video I will be doing another episode of Fun Fact Friday and I will be sharing why I think Creepshow Art Shannon is a beautiful swan. This channel is all about sharing my passion for animals through my other passion art to create content that will hopefully maybe leave you inspired to create and or to learn more about the animals I talk about. So let's get into it. With 2020 being how 2020 was, I wanted to start 2021 with some content to lift others up to kick off the year on a positive note. I've done a Disney Humans as Animals series where I took Disney human characters and drew them if they were an animal and explain why with facts and stuff that relate to the character and that the animal has in common. I feel like there's so many Disney animals as humans artwork out there so I had to flip it so I got to draw animals instead to keep myself interested. I'll have links to that playlist in the description and as a little annotation here if you're curious. But yeah that was a super fun series and I will be adding to it but it got me thinking instead of choosing fictional humans what about actual humans so I picked creep show art and honestly when I was thinking about animals that I feel embody her swans came to my mind first for some reason and the more I looked into information about swans it just fit better and better so I chose a swan if you didn't know creep show art is run by Shannon and it's an art and commentary channel here on YouTube she also has Instagram to share her art and stuff I will be linking everything I can of hers in the description so definitely check out her stuff if you haven't already. Shannon has been through a lot recently and at the tail end of 2020 of all years of course and after hearing about her getting doxxed, going through surgery and getting through all that just to have a really really awful recovery it's a lot. So around that time I knew I wanted to make a video to bring some positivity her way. It's like a while after all of that happened at this point but even though it's been a while I feel like all the points in this video still stand and I hope if she sees this, it puts a smile on her face to know she really makes an impact on me and many others. While also learning about animals because I have to wedge that in somehow, it's just I can't not. So before I get into why Shannon is a beautiful swan, I wanted to explain the process and concept of this piece that I'm drawing really quickly. So I always start anything with a sketch to practice whatever animal I'm drawing and also creating thumbnails to plan the composition of the final piece. In this drawing in particular, I chose a pose for the swan that I think shows strength and power along with elegance and beauty. I also had to add candles floating in the water because I know Shannon loves candles and so this one with her strong pose basically protecting these little baby candles I think fits perfectly with how I view Shannon as a whole. This will come into play later when I talk about swan behavior and how it relates to Shannon. I really hope this doesn't come across like I'm calling Shannon a big bird or something, even though she herself has said that she identifies with and said she is just goose in flower pot hissing, and I mean same, but I hope that doesn't come across as disrespectful or anything. This is just a way for me to have an excuse to talk about cool things I learned about swans while drawing a pretty swan and talking about a creator that I admire while totally not simping, I swear. And if you don't believe me about the goose thing, check out the link to the video and timestamp in my description. It's ironic because Shannon said that she is just goose in flower pot hissing when asked how she's doing and brought up a video of such goose in flower pot hissing as an option for anyone who wanted to opt out of watching the triggering content that was to come in that video in particular while having a trigger warning. And the fact that she used that of all things as an alternative to distract and find joy in said, I just think is great because I too love watching stupid videos of animals. I mean that's literally why I have TikTok. Anyway, all of that was a tangent, but the main thing is that I don't mean this video as disrespect in any way, and hope that comes across as the video goes on. For this speed paint, I am doing my usual mixed media process, and I recently got a big set of watercolor pencils, and I love watercolor pencils, so I try to use them for the majority of the process, but I do get into color pencil, ink, and acrylic by the end of it. I hope you guys enjoy watching the process of me making this illustration come to life, and by the end of it, of course, there's always stuff that I look at it and I want to improve for the next time, but I feel like this is pretty good for the amount of time that I gave myself to do it. So how this is gonna work is I'm going to share basic information about swans first, and then I'll share facts about swans that 
I think relate to Shannon, followed by an overall summary of how I view Shannon, and hopefully convince you that she is a beautiful swan. So for simplicity's sake, I will be saying Shannon instead of creep show art because it's easier. And I thought I would just mention that so from now on, you know that Shannon is creep show art. Okay, so let's start with some basic info about swans. First of all, there are six to seven species of swans called the black neck swan, the black swan, mute swan, which is the swan I picked for this illustration, the trumpeter swan, the whooper swan, and the tundra swan, which includes the Buick swans and whistling swans. There was also the Coscaroba swan, but that one is more of a distant relative to the swan and sometimes linked to whistling ducks. I thought the mute swans were the only ones because I've only ever seen those since I live in North America. Also, I didn't know that apparently mute swans aren't even native to North America and are actually an invasive species brought in from Europe. Trumpeter swans are the native ones to North America and they have been in need of the most protection because by the 1930s fewer than a hundred trumpeter swans remained south of Canada but I've since been getting their numbers back to a healthy amount and is a real conservation success story. Male swans are called cobs, female swans are called pens, a young swan is called a cygnet, and a group of swans is called a bevy and I didn't know any of that. I feel like we couldn't talk about swans without talking about how for the most part swans bond with one other and mate for life. Swans are often viewed as a symbol of love, and I'm sure you've seen the iconic photography of the two swans necks forming a heart. As romantic as it may seem, swans most likely remain paired to learn from raising each of the offspring to the next, and to conserve energy as a pair, as well as protecting each other as a team to combat threats. After swans are one to two years old is when they find a mate and remain bonded until one dies, or in the rare occasion that they aren't successful in breeding. But I still like to think that swans pick a mate for life because it's romantic and until a swan talks to me and tells me otherwise to my face, I'll continue to live my life with that narrative in my head about swans. As inaccurate as it may be. Now even with all the romantic stuff, do not test a swan. Swans aren't necessarily aggressive, just really, really defensive. Swans are huge and trumpeter swans, for example, is the largest species of waterfowl today with a wingspan of 185 to 259 centimeters and that's six foot two to eight foot two inches. That's huge. They range from 21 to 30 pounds and that's enough to intimidate anyone if one charges towards you. Swans can most definitely harm you, but they probably aren't going to kill you or even break any of your bones. Experts say that the hissing and wing flapping are mostly for show and swans don't really pose much of a threat to an average adult human. Most reports of swans hurting people happen because the swan was provoked or antagonized and injuries are the most severe not by pecking or, or biting from their beak at all, but by hitting someone with their wing joint. Their carpal wing joint is strong, but they can only muster so much force. The way that all flying birds are built is that they have a honeycomb leg bone structure to make them as light as possible and swans are among the heaviest of flying birds so they need all the help they can get. The trade-off is that their bones are weaker than other flying birds so the swan would most likely end up injuring itself if they struck an adult human's arm rather than injuring the adult. Now that's all I wanted to go over with swans in particular but there is obviously so many other cool things to learn about swans and I couldn't include everything in this video so I have all of my sources and additional resources for you to check out out in the description if you want to learn more about swans. Now I'm going to share the relevant facts about swans that relate specifically to Shannon to prove that she is indeed a beautiful swan. Something about swans that I think has the strongest line drawn to Shannon is that swans are very defensive to protect the things they care about. For swans, protecting their mate and their offspring is literally the only reason you would ever see any aggression from a swan. Shannon only really makes YouTube videos when it's about a topic she cares about or cares about the people affected by it to bring awareness and inspire change. It's not like YouTube is her one and only source of income too, so you know it's not money motivated and she literally doesn't have to make videos at all really, but she does because the stuff she talks about and the people and the behavior she calls out needs to be heard and I admire that about her. While calling out messed up people, she simultaneously defends and protects the victims involved in whatever the topic is. She's like that beautiful swan that has its wings up and charging at you because you looked off at her baby or something. Thing. Shannon has a huge heart and I think it comes out the most 
when she talks about or in defense of anyone she cares about or is close with. The vibe I get from her when she talks about these people is that she would straight up just drop everything she is doing and charge into battle for them anytime, any place. And I think that's a really amazing quality to have. Not only does she stand up for her friends, but she also stands up for what's right and for people who maybe are less heard or without a large enough platform to be heard. It's hard at best to justify a lot of the messed up stuff people she calls out do, and the fact that she does so in her free time is really honorable in my opinion. In the illustration for this video, I chose this pose for the swan because it's a really powerful pose and the way the swan is hovered over the candles in a protective way is what I was trying to get at with the people and things she stands up for. I also want to take a second and say that she's just really entertaining to listen to and the words she uses to describe stuff and talk about things, it's just so creative and fun and I find myself leaving her videos with at least a bunch of memorable quotes. One that comes to mind right now as I'm scripting this, I actually don't even want to say on my channel, but Shannon is just so creative with how many different ways she refers to and calls the problematic person or behavior in a given video and it's just so entertaining to hear what she'll come up with next to refer to said bad person or behavior. I don't know if that makes sense, but every time she mentions the same bad person, she comes up with a new way to refer to them, and I just think it's hilarious. I also wanted to mention that the word bonkers has been a part of my vocabulary for a long time, but since watching Shannon, it's now more regularly a word that I actually say out loud, and I'm here for it. Anyway, I just had to mention that she's entertaining and fun to listen to, and that doesn't have anything to do with swans. But if you're curious to know what mute swans, for example, sound like, check out the links in the sources section of my description, because I have a link there that shows the different types of swans and what they sound like. And the mute swan sounds like a mixture of a sneeze and like a little kid blowing a raspberry. It's kind of a cute sound in like a really weird way. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, if you're curious, go check it out in my description. Overall when I think of a swan, the characteristics that I think of most is beautiful, honest and loyal, but also noisy and loud and fierce when they need to be. And I view Shannon in the same way. She has the biggest heart from the little parasocial relationship that I have with her from watching her content. I love how she stands up for what she cares about and what she believes in. And she also just loves lifting people up whenever she can. And I'm hoping if she sees this video, it lifts her up too. She has a lot of amazing qualities that I love about her and her character of what she shows the internet, of course. I do wanna make it clear that I don't actually know or talk to her personally because I'm small <laughs> but if you are Shannon and you want to DM me I think that would be really cool and I would literally probably die but anyway but I'm totally fine with just admiring from afar and consuming all of her content. With all of that simpy mcsimping I've been doing most of this video, which by the way I didn't even know what the word simp meant or have ever used that word until I started watching Shannon and she mentioned it in one of her videos, and now I just can't not use it. I don't, I don't get it. It's kind of funny and ironic that I learned that word from Shannon of all people. So although my overall opinion about Shannon as a person from what I can tell from watching her content and social media of course, it's all been pretty positive and I have a lot of great things to say about her. But as a baby little tiny critique for Shannon, she does do some self-disparaging sometimes in her videos and her live streams. And I know it can be hard to not do that sometimes depending on your mental state, but I hope after watching, if she sees this, she sees the impact she has and the positivity she creates, and maybe she'll talk a little bit nicer about herself. You know that children's story, The Ugly Duckling, where the ugly duckling thought of itself as the worst, but is actually a beautiful swan? Yeah, Shannon is a beautiful swan. And she should feel like a beautiful swan. Also, swans are really, really intelligent, so she should feel intelligent because she is too. Anyway, if I haven't convinced you at this point that Creepshow Art is a beautiful swan, you can't say I didn't try. I mean, Shannon is a beautiful swan, a beautiful swanin. And with that, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process of me drawing Shannon as a beautiful swan. And make sure to leave this video a like if you did, and subscribe for more art and animal related content. I upload a new video every Friday, and it would be cool to have you join along my YouTube journey. My goal is to get 500 subscribers this year, and then I'll be halfway to being monetized, which is my goal for 2022. So if you like animals and art, it's a safe bet you'll like my other content. I really enjoyed this mixed media process, and now that I actually have good paper,
paper. I'm looking forward to doing more mixed media in the future. If you want to see this process in other works, check out the drawing I did of a red panda playing in pumpkin pie whipped cream, or the ferret I drew in sunflowers for the cover of my sketchbook. Links to those videos and others will be in the description, so you can watch those after this one. As always, if you're interested or curious about any of the supplies I use in this video, check out the affiliate links in my description. And of course, links to all the sources I use for the information I shared in this video, along with links to my socials, are down there as well, so you can learn more about swans and me. And most, most, most importantly, go follow and subscribe Creep Show Art on YouTube and Instagram and show her some love. She's always giving back to her followers in such a genuine way and is just so sincere when she expresses her gratitude to all of us, which is so refreshing because I feel like when you have a following of her size, and I think she's like way over 400k subscribers by now, I feel like it's really easy to get all high and mighty and forget where you started. So in real Shannon spirit, it would be a really hilariously mean prank if all of you who watch this video could just go and hype her up and follow and subscribe because she deserves it. I just think that would just really show her. And if you made it this far, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of this mixed media process, what you thought about the drawing in general. Have you ever watched creep show art? Or just say hi. I love chatting with you guys and I literally respond to every comment, so don't be shy. Plus it helps the engagement on my videos, so YouTube pushes my video for more people to see. It really helps me out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in next Friday's video. Swans also make honking sounds, and honking sounds like bunking. So honkers, honking, bonking, I don't, I don't know. That's a reach, never mind.